Hi, I'm looking at integrated space weather and a composite of the sun. And there's action down here, up here, and over here. So this one is just boiling up. Don't necessarily see it hit an object, but that's pretty active. And down here, that looks like it's looping back. Look at that blast come out of there. Boom. So something's agitating the sun to do that. And then over here, on the 17th, at 22... 57 You see this I think it this is actually one of the <clears throat> coronal prominences, I think they call it, but it, it sort of looks like it could be a planet, but it's just a blast of uh, energy coming out. Boom. It almost looks like something moves by, but I think it's one of their blasts of energy. Boom. Boom. Anyway, in this one, they decided to block out this section because there's something to see there that they don't want us to see. And that's NASA. And then this, the uh, solar winds are from the right. And, but there's other energy from the left. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, you can see the Earth is being compressed. The magnetopause is thinner here than here. So that's like an egg getting compressed on the sides. And that's a lot of energy, which helps the Earth get agitated. And ta-da, volcanoes are going off around the world. And this is particulates from Hawaii. So you can see the, I think the ash cloud went to 30,000 feet yesterday. So I have to go over and find some webcams in Hawaii. There's got to be a lot of them that show that stuff. And here's your sulfur dioxide, which with water turns into carbonic acid. In other words, if you breathe it and it gets in your lungs and you've got water in your lungs, so you'll turn into acid in your lungs. That's why people are wearing all those masks. And here's the current in the Pacific. Here's Japan, Fukushima, radiations coming over here and basically killing the ocean. So the salmon runs are down to pathetic numbers. So we'll keep watching.